Hey everybody, user is taken again, and today we will be reviewing my redstone combination lock door with buttons. And I'll pretty much just be showing you the concept of it. Let me just change it to day really fast. And if you guys would like a tutorial later, if you like it, just let me know. So, um, pretty much, first of all, it's not order sensitive, it's just some buttons have to be pressed and some have to be left alone. So, this redstone torch pretty much tells you if the combination is right. So before you press the button to open the door, if you got the combination right, this will be on. If it's wrong or no code entered, it'll be off. So that's obviously the button to open the door if the combination is right, and right now it doesn't do anything. Universal reset button right there. And then you got buttons 1, 2, and 3, and I still need to put signs under them, but don't worry about that. So. Just to show you guys, the combination is 1 and 3, and do not press the second one. As you can see, that torch has turned on. And then you press the green button to get in, and the door will stay open until you're inside. And then you can press this universal reset button, and the door will close. And then you have a basic button just to open the door again. So, now to how the wiring works. Um, I'll start with the blue wool, or like the combination buttons, I guess. So pretty much when you press the button, um, whichever ones you press, this redstone will turn on, and it'll cause that torch to turn off and that torch to turn on instead, and then this current will turn off, and I'll get to that in a second. So if you're wondering what this is, this is pretty much a vertical RS nor latch. So it um, has to be, re like the input has to come from below right there, which is where the reset is in order for it to be on the setting is right now which is off and if you want it, when you press the buttons it turns the top input on so and then the repeaters are if you can already tell are the ones that need to be pressed and then an inverter is on the one that needs to be left alone so and then if you got the combination right um, this entire current right here should be turned off because that will be off, and that one will be off, and then this torch obviously is off too. So it'll cause um, current to turn off for this thing up here, and therefore that torch will turn on, and you have the OK to press the green button. So now to the um, next part of it, where also, apart from that way, um, it'll also turn uh, this redstone off right here causing that torch to turn on and this torch will turn off so as everybody knows in order for an AND gate to um, have the output turn on both torches need to be off or vice versa so obviously the on button or the open door button leads to the other side of the AND gate and we'll turn that on when the right combination and that button is pressed so and this is just because I didn't want interfering redstone so that torch pretty much turns off when you press the button for a split second and this turns off triggers the hand gate and then when you get the right combination this part of the RS snore latch turns on this is a horizontal RS snore latch by the way it is the 2x3 version rather than the 3x3 version and the difference pretty much is you get rid of the entire center column of a regular RS snore latch because normally these three blocks right here would be moved over to the right um, another block but pretty much what you do is you just place redstone on top of the block with the redstone torch rather than to the side of it so saves a lot of space so and anyways it turns this on which causes that torch to turn off and then this current turns off too and that torch turns on and then the door opens up there so now to the reset button. The reset button can be activated from either there or inside the house or where whatever the building may be. So in that I need to put red wool there, but that's just OCD. So both buttons activate the same thing. They come down here and they cause this current to turn on, which causes that torch to turn off. That torch will turn on and then this whole thing will pretty much just reverse again. So and then it'll also flow down this way, leading up to the RS Nor latch, resetting it. So I can show you what happens when you have the right combination. 
we'll just press number one and number three as you can see this entire current's turned off and that current's turned off leading to that torch over there and then all I have to do is press the open door button right here and then it causes this side of the RS normal latch to turn on opening the door so and I made it so you can cover the floor and it's completely concealed so and then showing you what this uh, reset button does um, here I'll press it again and I'll input a wrong combination and you don't need to input a wrong combination to do this you can do it even with the right combination but it closes the door as well as resets the buttons so just destroy that so you can see it um, all those torches will turn on when I press this and there you go the whole system is reset and the RS normal latch is reset so anyways that's pretty much about it um, next, I will be working on um, making it order sensitive. So, like you, there's but certain buttons that you can't press, but you also have to press the buttons in a specific order. And I'll probably have like four or five. But another thing about this, if I didn't already mention it, is you can put more buttons, like a four and a five, and I think you would probably go all the way to like eight, maybe, because this kind of limits you unless you can figure out a way to use um, repeaters to keep it going but all you need to do is copy down this whole thing going all the way down to that dirt down there you need to copy this little format right here that's pretty much what it looks like with the redstone on top and then torches going to the ground and then redstone leading up to it and then you just put a repeater or an inverter um, repeaters, like I already said, are the right ones. Inverters are the ones that you can't press. So, anyways, if you guys like this design and want to know how to make it, um, please leave a comment or send me a message, and I will get to that as soon as possible. So, anyways, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.